Hey, awesome folks. It's Lentia, your lenticular buddy on YouTube. So, 3D lenticular printing has been a bit of a mystery for many folks. People tend to think it's this complex thing that's best left untouched. But guess what? Making a 3D lenticular print is no harder than making one that flips. Today, I'm about to spill the beans on a super easy way to craft a 3D lenticular masterpiece using just your smartphone and some online tools over at VICGI.com. The only requirement is Adobe Photoshop, a software you must have anyway to be a photographer. But before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's get a sneak peek at what's coming up. 1. Getting the source images. 2. Buying the lenticular lens. 3. A quick pitch test. 4. The magic of image interlacing. 5. Bringing it all together. Getting the source images. For 3D lenticular magic, we need a sequence of pics taken along a straight line. Grab your smartphone and use anything L-shaped object as a guide. Get creative, an L-shaped steel bar, a handy corner guard, or even a piece of wood skillfully milled into an L-shape will do the trick. Think of it as your visual wand, guiding you to 3D wonders. Before we jump into setting up the scene for our snapshots, let's chat about what makes a killer 3D design. Picture this, a good 3D scene rocks a foreground, a focal plane, and a background. Here's a neat trick, throw in an imaginary picture frame around the scene. Why? Well, anything in front of that frame becomes the foreground, popping out of the picture. Anything on the same plane as the frame becomes the focal plane, and anything chillin' behind the frame is the background. Keep this in mind because it's our secret sauce for explaining how we're going to work our image magic in the next step. Move on to the fun part. We're going to take some pics from right to left, let me emphasize, from right to left, because trust me, that order matters. Use a Bluetooth remote shutter instead of pressing the button on the phone to maintain stability while moving the phone. Now that we've got our series of awesome snapshots, the next step is to bring them all together and align them to a common point in Photoshop. It's like connecting the dots of creativity. This common point? Well, it can be anywhere on the focal plane. Let's dive into the Photoshop magic and make these images dance to the same beat. Let's get these fantastic pictures into the Photoshop party as layers. Since we snapped them from right to left, the file names are playing a little number game, with the larger ones cozying up on the left. Head to the file menu, bust out some moves with a scripts, and hit load files into stack. On the open dialog, make sure to sort the files so that the rightmost file with the smallest file number is at the top. This sorting is very important because if the order is reversed it will break our protocol. Remember that imaginary frame chat we had earlier? Well, let's pick the tip of the toe box as our focal point. Why? It's easily identifiable and plays super well with our imaginary frame trick. Watch this, starting from the bottom, we'll make a layer semi-transparent, shimmy it to match the chosen point, and repeat until we hit the top. Time to crop out any extra space from the top layer. Let's size things up for the big reveal. Imagine we're going for a sweet 10 by 8 print in landscape mode, that's the vision. But hold up, our images aren't vibing with that size just yet. No worries. We're about to do some cropping magic to match that perfect 10 by 8 aspect ratio. Here's the play by play. Throw in a rectangle sized at 1000 pixels by 800 pixels, make it semi-transparent, and shimmy it to the sweet spot. Resize, move, and crop that file down to size, voila. Delete this layer because it's not part of our lenticular story. Time to get this show ready for the spotlight. Now that we've nailed the alignment and locked in the perfect size, it's time to export our visual masterpiece. Easy peasy, head to the file menu, hit up, export, and groove your way to layers to file. 
Let's save them as JPG and keep them crisp by setting the quality to 8 and tossing them into a shiny new folder so they won't tangle up with our original images. Picture perfect and neatly organized, we've got all our images prepped and ready for their grand entrance. Buying the lenticular lens. Talking about the lenses, the magical ingredient to bring your creation to life. Hop on over to vicgi.com slash lenticular dash lens html. Easy, right? Pause the video for a sec to scribble down that address. For our tutorial vibes, the star of the show is the YouTube Tutorial 50 LPI 3D Bundle. It's got the goods with 5 portraits and 5 landscape 50 LPI lenses, perfect for those 8x10 or 10x8 picture frames. Here's the pro tip, opt for no adhesive backing because we're about to drop some framing wisdom that doesn't need any lamination fuss. Of course, if you're feeling the adhesive love, go for it, great for standalone advertising displays and whatnot. A quick pitch test. Alright, time for a bit of pitch testing wisdom. The pitch test is like the superhero move that tackles any errors your lens and printer might throw your way. We won't dive too deep into the nitty gritty here, we've got another video fully dedicated to the pitch test. So, if you're curious about the magic behind pitch testing, we've got you covered in our dedicated pitch test video, it's like a crash course for your lenticular superhero skills. Ok, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the pitch test adventure. Grab your 50 LPI lens for that 3D magic. Head on over to vicgi.com and hit up the lenticular pitch test link at the top of the website. Here's where the magic happens, input 50 into the pitch field and pick the resolution that plays well with your printer. For example, 600 dpi for HP or 720 dpi for Epson. Hit that, create pitch, button, and boom, your pitch test pattern is born. Save and print it. Lay your lens on top of the pitch test pattern, making sure those grooves are facing up and parallel to the lines on the left side of the sheet. Align the lens so those lines on the left stay sleek, not jagged. Choose the number next to the band that's either all black or all white. In our case, it's a sweet 50.8. Keep that number in your mental toolkit because it's going to be used in our next move. The magic of image interlacing. Let's keep this momentum going. Head back to our home base and hit up the lenticular interlacing app a link at the top of the page. This is where the real magic unfolds. Set the stage by inputting 10 for the width and 8 for the height and don't forget our golden pitch number, 50.8. Drag and drop those awesome images we prepped earlier and let the uploading begin. Once those visuals are on our server, brace yourself for the Ego Interlace button, hit it and witness the magic unfold. In less than a minute, and voila! Your interlaced image is ready for action. Save it, print it out, and get ready to take your 3D journey to the next level. Bringing it all together. The moment of truth is here. Now that you've got that interlaced masterpiece printed out, it's time to seal the deal. Pop your lens right on top of it and get it in the perfect position. Let's make sure everything stays in place, grab some trusty masking tape and secure the print and lens along the top, left, and right edges. Let's tidy things up a bit, trim away any excess paper at the bottom and wrap some more masking tape around the edge. Here's a neat trick, peel off the tape from the right edge, trim any leftover paper, and wrap it up again. Repeat this dance for the left and top edges, and you've got a secure package ready for the big finale. Transfer this winning combo into a frame, lock it in with the back of the frame, and boom! You've just birthed a bona fide 3D lenticular print. Get ready to let your creation shine, you're officially a 3D artist. Alright, let's talk efficiency and taking your 3D game up a notch. By now, you're probably nodding along, realizing that making a 3D lenticular print isn't the Herculean task it seemed. The real time suckers? Snapping those pictures and aligning them, we get it. What we've just walked through is fantastic for all you hobbyists out there. But, hey, if you're diving into 3D creations regularly, we've got a game changer for you, introducing the 3 Dependable 3D Lens Pro Zipper. 
this beast lets you mount your professional camera onto a programmable dolly, giving you full control over the number of pictures and the traveling speed. And hold on to your hats, because the magic doesn't stop there. The three dependable lenticular photo producer software steps in to effortlessly align your snaps, making the whole process smoother than what we just walked through. Here's the drill, toss your files into the software, hit the focus button for the auto alignment dialog, point click the focal points on the first and last images, and bam, the software takes care of aligning the ones in between. Set your print size, let's say 10 by 8. Then hit the pitch test icon to whip up the magic number for the real pitch. Create the interlaced image with just a few more mouse clicks. And voila, the same result in way less time. Typically, a turnkey system like this would cost you an arm and a leg, but guess what? For our channel subscribers, it's yours for just $499. Trust us, this is the holy grail for aspiring professional 3D lenticular photographers, don't miss out on this game-changing equipment. Head over to www.3dependable.com to order it now. Big thanks for joining us on this 3D journey. At VICGI.com, We've been at the forefront of lenticular printing, and our mission is simple, we're here to spread the knowledge. If you enjoyed this ride, show us some love by hitting that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Why? Because we've got more epic videos coming your way, and we wouldn't want you to miss a single one. Until next time, happy creating!